Hey guys, my name is Taylor, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to um, block profanity across the internet, and especially in videos and uh, movies, TV, things like that. And this will allow you to block um, not just like swear words, but any words that you don't want to see or hear. It's going to use a Chrome extension, but it's a little bit complex, and so I'm just going to walk you through a couple of the settings to help you configure it properly so that you can have a great experience with it. So first off, let's go to uh, Google and search uh, Advanced Profanity Filter. Now you can do this in uh, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and I believe Firefox as well. Um, but you need to make sure that uh, you have a browser that can support the extension. So this is what it looks like. Go ahead and click Add to Chrome. Add the extension. Okay. So it's going to come up with this <clears throat> uh, settings page, and it, it does look a little bit daunting, I'll admit. But, uh, but don't worry, I'll walk you through some of it. This is essentially... Uh, how the extension blocks the words. So you have a sensor, um, which will basically show you like the first letter of the word and then kind of put asterisks um, to block the rest. You can do substitute, which will replace a word. Um, for example, it's got right here, if, if you have dog, it will replace it with cat everywhere you see. Um, so that's if you, you know, if <clears throat> you have... So you can look through all the settings for substitute, sensor, all that good stuff. But I'm going to personally just walk you through remove. Um, I think it's this is the context menu. And basically what this does is when you right click on a page, it shows up as one of the options here. And it will allow you to toggle the extension to be on or off for that page that you're on. Um, things like that can be very useful, but you can disable it here if you don't like it. Uh, you can show the number of filtered words on the extension. Personally, I just hide the extension. It's automatically hidden by default. Uh, you can pin it if you want, but I just turn these, these things off. To explain these match methods, let's go over here to the words tab. <clears throat> this is how the extension detects the words and, and how it blocks them. So for example, if, if we have the word dog, um, and we have a word like dog house, if those are together, it won't block it because it's only looking for that specific phrase. Partial will will block it, I'd like to do. Actually, we are going to go to the words page, sorry. So this extension by default comes preloaded with all the most common um, swear words and things like that. So you don't have to worry about putting all that in manually. What you, if you are concerned about um, phrases of deity and things like that being misused. <clears throat> now, these word lists on this side, this is if you have a, for some reason, a, a specific scenario where you only want to block certain words. Um, you can add those words to a specific word list and then specify in the extension which list you want to use to block. Okay. Lists, um, this is the page where you can whitelist certain phrases, um, and you can read a little bit more into that right here. You probably won't need to use this that much. Domains, um, this is also something that you won't need to add, modify much um, unless for some reason there's a, a website that isn't blocked, which is pretty unlikely, then you can add it here. Let's get to the most important part though, which is audio, okay? If you want to block um, profanity on videos, you have to come to this tab and enable the feature, okay? So you can view the supported sites right here. You can ignore this crazy code on the right, um, but this dropdown will show you it blocks all the most common sites like um, YouTube, Netflix, um, Apple TV, it's got like Disney Plus, I'm pretty sure, um, you know, all those sites. And if there is a site that isn't working, it's not blocking for some reason, then you can um, add your own configuration by kind of following this structure and adding it right here, okay? 
but make sure you check this box so that the audio is muted. Now for the mute method, we're going to go to video volume. Essentially, that means that um, it will mute the volume of the video itself rather than um, like the whole tab. I I've I You can play around with these features. I found that video volume seems to work the best for me. Now for captions, subtitles. Okay, so this is important. In order for the filtering to work, you have to have captions enabled on the video. That's how it detects when to mute. If you don't have captions enabled, it won't work. So with the captions, I have found that the best option is show only unfiltered. I think the phrasing is a little misleading here. It's kind of confusing, but show only unfiltered will show all the words that are clean. Okay. And it cuts out all the bad ones. If you don't want to see the captions, you can press hide all, and that won't show you anything, even though captions are enabled, but captions do have to be enabled for it to work. Now, if you want, you can use filler audio. So for example, if there's a swear word, you can have a beep or some static or something, replace it. Personally, I just, I don't want to know the words were there, so I just go with none, um, but you can, you can do that. You can um, only mute the audio, so if for some reason you don't want the text to be filtered, you can check that box. And then um, the one last thing on here is that for YouTube, YouTube has auto captions on a lot of webs on a, a lot of videos that don't have captions put in manually. And so sometimes it's not perfect at at getting it right. Um, and that's something you'll have to work with. It's this extension is not always perfect, especially on videos. Um, sometimes it's hit and miss, but I find that it, it typically works for the most part, especially on video on like video sites like um, Netflix, Disney, um, all those things where the captions are all manually timed and, and put in. It, it typically works really well. YouTube has a bit of a harder time. Um, and so they have this setting where you can set um, a specific amount of time for the audio to mute if there are audio, if there are, um, you know, words that come up. I found that the best setting that works for me is to put a one second minimum, which means the if it finds a word that's bad, it will mute for at least a solid second, um, and you can you can change this however you want, um, but I've found that to be the best configuration for me. Okay, now I believe that's it. You can look through the rest of these settings if you want. There is quite a lot you can um, do with this extension, but now that you've configured that all, you can close out of this tab and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Now, one, one more thing I will show you is, let's say we go to some website. If I come up to my extension here, I'm going to click on Advanced Profanity Filter. Now I can enable or disable it right here for this uh, page, and that will refresh the page. And then mode, you want that on normal, um, you can read more about advanced and deep in the help page, but it's not really necessary. You can choose your filter here. Um, now, this is also important for text. You want to do all words unless you have specified word lists. I would just do all words to make sure it catches everything that's been put into the system. OK, so that's how you configure it. Um, there's a button here to quickly take you back to the options. But that's it. I hope this extension works for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who are looking for uh, a cleaner internet. Um, and if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next one.